for God to cause you to rule, you must be somebody that works with tolerance, temperament, patience. Second Peter 1 5 says, add to your faith, temperament, patience, godliness, kindness. If you have this, you will be fruitful and you will abound and you will increase and a door of entrance will be open for you. There is no open door. There is no abounding. There is no increase. There is no fruitfulness. There is no abundance until you begin to add the character of God. Until you begin to be like God. Until you begin to exhibit the God kind of life.
serving is going to be his own flesh. We have different enemies coming from our lives. Yours may be different from mine. And that's why I cannot condemn you when you're going through it. Mm -hmm. The Bible said, and what if I said, sleep with me. What do you want in this house? And he said, I cannot do this evil against God. We know that says character. I cannot do this evil against God. How much? To the extent that you conquer is what you can rule over. If you cannot conquer your tongue, you cannot rule over it. To the extent you conquer, that is how your scope or your bunch of ownership. A man that cannot bring his body on that subjection, he has no right to talk about it. A man that cannot love his wife and cannot be tolerant with his wife has no right to talk about loving your wife. Are you listening to me tonight? Yes. A person that has not put his tongue under control has no right to talk about putting your tongue under control. I'm saying another word. A thief has no right to preach about those things. And spiritually, it is to what extent that the power of God you have submitted to, it's to that extent people can submit to you. The devil will only submit to the level that you submit to God. But you know that has been a person that has always put himself under control. He has a strong self-control. He lives under sobriety. He's a disciplined person. He has added that to his lifestyle. I have a lifestyle of being disciplined. If you go through chapter 37, when his father's children were misbehaving outside, he was not there. It's not that type of thing. And so when this came, it was nothing to him. It has, it has become a lifestyle. Whether people are there or not, whether my father is there, whether the public is there, whether anybody is watching, no, it is my lifestyle. God is doing for the people that will live like this. We don't need to live like God on Sunday and on Monday. You are doing. They tell lies, you tell lies. They cheat, you cheat. And then you come on Sunday, praise the Lord and the Holy. What holiness? <laughs> because some of these people walk with you during the week. And so you find that you cannot preach the gospel with evidence. God is looking for his people. God is searching for those who are living like him. The world is looking for people, sons of God. God is looking for those who be met with his seed. The seed of God does not sin. You do everything to please God at all costs. Even when nobody is there. Sometimes it doesn't have to be a fool. But you know you're a fool because you know where you're getting to. You know where you're going to. You've already made a man that you already focus your eyes on him. You have a death in another dream. And you cannot train it for Potiphar's wife. Until your dream is bigger than you. If your dream is more bigger than you, you can train it out. But when the dream is bigger than you, you can train it. Joseph was seeing a dream that is better than him. A dream that made him to be a ruler. A dream that made him to sit on the throne. A little boy. A little boy. One day I will be sitting on the throne, ruling. I can't do it. I can't do it. No, I can't do it. My fellowship with God, I can't do it. The anointing of the Holy Ghost, I can't do it. I refuse to do it because it is very expensive. And sometimes you may not be 
now have a second chance. Hello. Amen. Well, you can see a boy that is submissive. Irrespective that the other anointing, yes, I will go. Some of us, we are not submissive at all. Yes, Pastor. Yes, Lord. But when the Lord said, go there, I don't like going there. I, why should I be the only person going there? Why should I be sent that type of job? Don't you know who I am? Who are you? Who gets to know who you are? When you're a child of God, you drop whatever title or status you have in life. If God is going to use you, you must drop what you think of yourself. He's having a dream. He's having a coat of many colors. Yet, he said, I will go. And I said, to the extent he has been able to rule, that was how he was able to rule over that situation. The situation around you right now, do you know the authority, the power to rule is in you? My Bible said, casting down imagination, pulling down stronghold, bringing to captivity every thought that exalts itself against the knowledge of the word of God and standing in readiness to avenge when our own obedience is fulfilled. When we cannot obey, we don't have authority to stand in readiness to avenge it. The devil will tell you, stop it. You just messed up just now. What do you want to say? Be quiet. You've not invented of it. And so he found that he has authority in that area of his life. And he was able to submit to the will of God in that matter. And I said many times it cost you tears for living right. It cost you pains for every testimony that is in test. For every lifting up, there is a going through something. There is always, you have to write an exam to be able to have, to score. But people nowadays, because of the manipulation, so the field is the same way you have to work with God. You can just manipulate here and there and get to the throne room. No way. You can't manipulate God. So if I let God, he went through this. And then the next time we find him that he was exhibiting the character of God. The Bible said he behaved himself wisely. Knowing what to do at the appointed time and doing it right. Having a knowledge but knowing how to apply it at the right time is what is called wisdom. You may have knowledge but when you don't know how to use, you are not better than a fool. He applied wisdom. And now he's sent to prison. Because when he was sent to prison, that was the Lord for him to say, even with all I've been doing, God, you saw the other day my brother hated me. Did I ask you God to give me dreams? God, the other day they sent me to the pit. God, the other day they sent me to sleep. Now I'm in prison. And you fell off. Some of us will just throw in the towel and give up. And the devil said, that's, that's okay, that's okay, drop it, drop it. After all, somebody like this, drop it. The other person, drop it. Even that one is a pastor, he stopped going to church. <laughs> you tell the devil, I'm a person, I'm a different person. I'm a different person. I am not Mr. Anybody, I'm somebody. Bought with the blood, destined for a purpose. <laughs> the Bible said, while it was in the prison, Exhibiting the character of God will cause you to rule eternally. Nothing can terminate that place when you exhibit the character of God. Right there, two persons, the Bible and the Baker came with their problem. You see, the character of God causes you to give a smile to a looking eyes. He causes you to give joy to the soul. It's what I call the Bible. I say, you brighten the continents of others when you exhibit the character of God. Yes. If you can say, what is your problem? What ailed you? Why are you sad? So I take enough problem. I don't have to actually try to share about this problem. I can't share about this problem. I have enough problem to open. You wouldn't go far. If you're going to rule, you must 
of somebody who can see people's problem. Yes. Or is that you went to room? You must be somebody who has been able to go through this and you came out as pure gold. So you know, you have heard it, you sat there and sat, you know what it is. You are a high priest, judged by the series of the heritage of these people. And then you can rule. But why you cannot go through any problem? What do you want to do? Is that the people that were betting you you want to rule? Everything you Oh God! You can't rule over those people. Because you can't handle the situation. And then you because you can't handle the situation, the devil just keeps showing us here and there and here and there. And people begin to believe all silly things. And the enemy make a merchandise of people. They sat them. But here is this exhibiting the character of God. Have you ever seen God overwhelmed by any situation? It's never overwhelmed by any situation. No situation moved him. Oh, why is this one? Okay, let there be light. Why is this one? Let there be this. Why is this one? Let there be that. Yeah. God is never overwhelmed by any situation. And we are his seed. I believe somebody is changing right now. Yes. Somebody's destiny is already being changed right now. Because you are you are already getting focused to your next level. And there was compassionate. He said, tell me your problem. And they told him. He said, it's in the power of God to interpret dreams. This, this will happen to you. This, this will happen to you. The Lord, many people cannot rule because they have no experience. God will not give authority of rulership to children. He will give it to men. Not boys, I mean men, people that have been proven. David was anointed in 1 Samuel 16. Chapter 17, God has to do something. Go out, see to your brothers if they are doing fine. The same thing. And he said, yes, Lord, submission. Exhibiting the character of Christ. And he got there and he saw the problem. And he says, they are not a cause. Let me do something about it. That is where his promotion started from. Your Goliath will not come and meet you inside the house. You have to move to where he is. <laughs> you don't rule inside your house over nations. You come outside to rule over nations. Jesus can never be the king of kings and Lord of God if he decides to sit down up there. But when God said, who shall go for us? And he said, yeah, man. He said, you ready to carry the sin, carry the body, feel like feel? He said, yes, no. And he became a high priest taught by the feelings of the infirmity. And my Bible writing in Philippians 2, 9, we are for, we are for, we are for did not confess. What came first is was he, he had a compassion that is like a priest, and because of obedience unto death. Obedience unto death. In the midst of the test, tears are running over your eyes. In the midst of the tears, test, nobody is seeing you as anything good. In the midst of your test, nobody is even saying, well done. In the midst of your test, everybody sees you as bad. Everybody is seen as a sinner in the midst of your test, and yet you say, God bless you. <laughs> in the midst of your test, people you are doing something for are calling you, and yet you refuse to open your mouth. That is the power of rulership. A ruler is a person that has control over his temperament, even the midst of storm. A ruler is in peace. You never heard any time man is doing something and then God begins to talk to me. Are you, you people, are you causing me? God, I don't have time. <laughs> Sit down still until I make your enemies your food. He gives a good time. He watches situation before he handles it, before he utters words. The same 
see, you find out until now. Jesus became the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. He's gone through it. He has submitted. He has exhibited the character of God, patience, tolerance, mercy, grace, even at the cross. When he was being told, if you be son of God, come down. Help us and help yourself. And at that time, he opened up his mouth. Exhibiting the character of God will cause you to rule permanently, not temporarily. Praise God. And as soon as the thing that the Bible makes me to see, that suddenly the time begins to change. The man you have today may be your agent of fulfillment. So don't stop helping. Amen. Exhibiting the character of God to rule. Because the person you are saying, is it you? Give it to do this to me. And then tomorrow you want him to campaign for you. Hello. All he's going to tell you, do you remember what you did that? Do you remember this? He's going to campaign for you. Naturally. But you find that Joseph helped him. And God said, it is time. That is the place. Rule down in the midst of you. He said, Joseph, you stayed long in the prison. Beloved, I don't know where you are, but I said, you stayed long in that situation. You stayed long on that one seat. You stayed long waiting for your promotion. You stayed long waiting for your healing. You stayed long waiting for your joy. You stayed long waiting for your enlargement. You stayed long waiting for your breakthrough. You stayed long in that place. Rule in the midst of your enemies. 
and he got up. And the Lord said, it is time for you to rule. I know how to zero it. When it is time for you to rule, God knows how to make the path. When it is your turn, I said, when it is your turn to rule, God knows how to send a Lazarus to send Vashti away for you. I thank you for tuning in and listening to this broadcast. I'm inviting you to church this Sunday, 10 o'clock in the morning. Call me right now if you need prayer. 718-496-3455. We are located at 1877 Bathgate Avenue here in the Bronx between East Tremont and East 176. We meet them every Sunday, 10 o'clock. Every Tuesday, 7 p.m. for Bible studies. And every Thursday, 7 p.m. for prayer meetings and deliverance. People come with their problems and God meets them. I want to see you at church this Sunday. I'm just giving you this open invitation. When you come, when you come, your life will never be the same. But call me, 718-496-3455. We are located at 1877 Bathgate Avenue here in the Bronx. Every Sunday, the house is packed in the morning. People are worshiping and praising God. I want to see you there this Sunday. Call me right away, 718-496-3455. Love you. Bye-bye.